Hey, all right, I'm back. This is take two of me doing an Ulta haul. But before I get into this haul, I don't wanna get on a soapbox. I don't like being political. Um, I don't like watching the news much because, you know, I want to think that most of us are people who, you know, choose to be kind when we go out in public. You know, at home you may be what you are, but <laughs> at least in public try to be nice. So, um, I was at Ulta. Um, there was, a, I guess you would say, an associate, an employee checking me out. And there was a woman down the way and someone was taking care of her. And I don't know what the issue was other than finding out she was upset because she didn't get the free gift that she thought should be included. But this woman had an attitude because I was there checking out because I picked out a few items at, um, well, it's not because of me, but I was there checking out with a few items and I had an order pickup from Ulta. Um, and I had told the lady that was helping me that and she walked down there and she must have asked a question to the other um, employee and that lady was like can you let her finish with me first and then she was like she was asking the other associate what is your name you know and I want to talk to the manager kind of attitude um, I guess I'm a little bit shaken up so I can't remember like verbatim how this all happened but the problem is she was being rude to the employee and that employee never got an attitude with her, never got loud with her or anything. Um, and then, so the person that was helping me came back down there and um, the lady was like, again, can you let her finish with me first? And so the person that was helping me, she's like, I'm helping her help you. So, I mean, she was just, I've had it with rude people this week and people being out of line because I had my own experience with someone this week who was rude to me. They basically approached me, made rude comments, and then left. And I'm not going to share where it happened or what was said, but the thing is, it's like, you don't know me and nobody deserves to be spoken to that way. Not, not when it's like you just out of the blue talk rudely to someone so for me to experience it this week and then to go to um you know a place of business where an employee is trying to help you and you're going to speak rudely to her and she's just like I don't like the way this whole transaction is going it's just like please please quit acting like an entitled person like is this really the if this is the worst thing that can happen in your day like you don't have any problems so, um, I just had to put that out there because I'm tired of rude people. Uh, I like to be a positive person and I like to think that people are being kind and I just, I can't, I can't deal with it. So anyways, my online order pickup was a hair straightener. So I will have to try that out. I'm not trying out in this vehicle, but, um, with my haircut, I'm a girl who is used to volume. I'm a girl who's used to like curling my hair under. And I think that with the haircut that I have, I, you know, I want it to be straight. And so I've got to learn how to use a straightener. Um, I have curling irons at home. I have the InStyler, which I do like. And the InStyler, surprisingly, even though it's like a round barrel, helps to um, straighten my hair. But I haven't... I, even if I curl my hair, I like for my bangs to be straight with the way it frames my face. So I, in a nutshell, I'm trying to learn how to do my hair. I'm almost 35 and I'm trying to learn how to do my hair. Okay. So anyways, my little, this is my little mini Ulta haul because it came in a little bag. It's tiny. My little one always goes, it's tiny. Okay. I don't have my mascara on yet and I thought, well, there was the brand essence is at Ulta and I think if I remember correctly I've heard good things about their mascara and their products were like buy one get one half off and they are let's see after the buy one get one half off one of these was the lash princess which is this one was 334 and um the other they're both 334 so that's pretty cool so if they're good that'll be awesome what else did I get do you want to 
Okay, I got an Ultimate Eyeliner from LA Girl because their products were on sale. And this is in the shade Never Ending Navy. So hopefully that'll go with my blue eyes. And then this one is, uh, I keep it spicy. I think this is a lip liner. Yeah, <laughs> if you can see, those are the shades. Obviously eyeliner, lip liner. And then, okay, some stuff is birthday presents for somebody, so I can't show you everything, but I got, this is ColourPop, and it's their Super Shock Shadow. And I have heard good things about ColourPop. This is only $6, y'all. Six! And um, if you can, no, let's see. Can you tell from my hand, maybe slightly, I was playing with products? Okay, you can kind of see it. I play with highlighter, eyeshadows. <sighs> I saw that woman that was checking out. I saw her in the store, and she was not talking to people like that as far as I could tell. I'm just like, <sighs> I am so over people being rude. Okay, so this is called the shade Frog. I don't know why it's called Frog because I don't see any green in it. It looks like that. I'm just going to take it. They have testers there in Ulta, which is really nice. So you don't have to, you know, you can test the shade and then not have to worry about people opening these and trying them. But we're just going to swatch. I don't know if you can see that and dang it I've got eyeliner on but y'all I want to try this on my face okay maybe I shouldn't I don't really have anywhere to try oh boy look at that I don't know if you can see it I'm just doing it in the corners of my eyes It's so hot, look. Maybe it's the heat that's making people rude. I don't know, but it is something. Okay, I got, let me see. Okay, the other two I can't show you because they're birthday presents. And I don't want to show that person. But, while I have you here, and while I'm trying to entertain you, let's try these mascaras. I seriously have an obsession with mascaras. I have Thrive Cosmetics mas mascara. I just got mas mascara. I have Honest Beauty. Um, so those are like the cleaner brand of mascara. Um, but I really like the Honest Beauty one. So this is supposed to be false lash effect. I gotta be honest, when mascara is cheap, like this, <clears throat> I don't have much um, faith in it Let's see. I mean I'll put it in my bottom left so she, can you see this oh I don't want to poke my eye I mean it's decent for the fact that it was only 334 so, and I like to double up on my mascara sometimes. So that was the lash, false effect, false lash effect. I don't know if I need coffee or lavender, you know? So this is the curl and volume. And this is, the bristles look like that. These are ones I feel like you have to be careful with not to poke your eye or it could hurt. I'm not upset at the um, effect I'm getting. I don't like that I have mascara on my brow bone. I'll just do one eye because otherwise this will take forever and it's hot. But I would say if you combine those two, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so. What did we learn in this video? We learned when you go out in public, if you've got an attitude or something bothering you, don't be mean to people that haven't started anything with you. Like people do not deserve for you to be mean to them if they haven't done anything to you. If you're mad at somebody else, call the person you're mad at instead of being a passive aggressive and getting mad at somebody else, okay? That is the K-Love gal wisdom for today. I hope you have a good weekend. I may be back with another video. I haven't decided yet. Okay? Mwah! Have a blessed one.